as the sun is really bright. So there it is, a little bit better. Um, I'm going to be going to Taco Bell, so welcome to another lunchtime review. Hopefully they'll get my order right this time. I think the past two or three times they've got it completely wrong. So we'll see. I'm ordering uh, two pretty straightforward items, so we'll see what they do. So I'm going to get this turned around, and there is a little bit of a line, so it might take me a little bit to get through. Okay, you afraid? Um, yeah, I want one of your uh, grilled cheese burritos, um, a double steak grilled cheese burrito, and one of the small um, cherry twilight drinks. Thank you. What else? That's it. Any sauce? Um, no, I'm fine. Did you get the small cherry twilight? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah I'll be talking to you. Yep, thank you. It was not there first, so I bet. Did I go here? I think you put a sign in their first window that says um, go to the next window or something like that. Uh, that only took like s eight minutes for me to get ordered and um, get up here. So that's like too awfully bad, as busy as they were. Can I have a receipt too? Thank you. Thank you very much. You too. Go to my usual spot um, in the Walmart parking lot and uh, to eat this. So um, I think I'll need to go this way because that that way is packed with people waiting in drive there. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, here are the two burritos and the drink. There's the drink. You see a nice swirl of I think it's blue raspberry and cherry, um, like icy basically. Here is the double steak. It's a big burrito too. Let me tell you that. And this is just the regular um, grilled cheese burrito. The bottoms have like a, see this grilled like cheesy section? The bottoms, I wish I'd flipped them over now. Um, they have a little toasted area like this, but it's a little thicker on the bottoms of each of these. So anyway, I'm gonna get these, uh, I'm gonna get the camera turned around, tell you the price, and uh, we'll try them out. Okay, I have napkins on hand, so I should be in good shape. We'll see. Um, so the double steak uh, burrito was $5.49. The grilled cheese uh, burrito was $2.99, and the regular cherry twilight freeze was $2.99. Um, so my subtotal was $11.47. Yeah, Kentucky sales tax, so my total was $12.16, which isn't too awfully bad. I mean, I mean it's not like dark cheap, but it's not bad either. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see how best to go in for it. I think I'm just gonna try the regular one first. The grilled cheese one. See the, the grilled cheese on the bottom? Um, I wish I'd put that on top, but whatever. I tell you what, it's hard to eat this stuff with a mustache. The cheese in there is, there's a lot of cheese. Hold on. That has a really good flavor. It's got some spice to it though. So if you don't like spicy food, don't get this. I didn't get any sauce or anything. This is just, um, you know, this is just how they make it. And it's got some seasoning to it. I mean, there's some, there's some definite tingle and burn in the back of my throat. So um, yeah, if you don't like spicy food, you probably wouldn't want to get this. Of course, you're probably not eating a lot of tacos anyway, but I'm just warning you. Um, I like the, the texture of the grilled cheese part. I don't know that it adds a lot of flavor to it, but um, but it does add a texture to it. Yeah, it tastes like a little a toasted cheese. That's what it tastes like. Hmm. That's pretty good. I like that one. Um, I would give that one a, honestly, I'd give it a five out of five. It's really, really good. I really do enjoy the flavor of it.
All right, I got the steak one picked up. I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna make a mess before I hit record. Um, this one's quite a bit thicker. There's a lot of rice in both of these. The, the first one had a lot of rice. This one, you can see it, it has a lot of rice in it as well, but there's tons of cheese. And I see quite a bit of steak in there too. Um, let me go for, let me go to the back where all the cheese is first. It's like a, um, it's like a nacho cheese sauce. It's not, um, it's not like regular cheese. It's like that runny, like canned cheese, or it, it's a, it's a nacho cheese. It's not like cheddar cheese or shredded cheese or anything like that. It's a really good cheese. Um, I like the steak flavor in there. The steak um, has a different flavor than the ground beef. And this one, at least that first bite, didn't have a lot much spice in it. I don't know if I can, I got a big mouth. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think there's much as much spice in this. And the steak has a an okay flavor. I like the texture of the steak, but as far as flavor goes, I think I'd rather double up on the regular grilled cheese burrito and double up the meat on that one and make it bigger than to add steak. The steak is good, but I actually like the, the seasoning, the spices of the regular one better than I like the steak one, which is kind of funny. That's the grilled cheese part, by the way. Like I said, for my picture, so I wish I'd had that up uh, on the top instead of on the bottom. Yeah, the steak one's good, but I think I like the flavor of the the regular one better. So I think I would get two regulars instead of the double steak. That's just me personally, because um, the steak it's it's okay, but it just doesn't have a lot of flavor, and it's kind of a uh, I don't know, it's got a kind of a mushy kind of roast beef kind of roast flavor instead of a steak flavor. So um, so I do like it. I would give the steak one probably a four. That's one I would probably want to add sauce to if, if you were to buy it. I would probably want to add some more seasoning to it because it just doesn't has as much seasoning as or uh, spices as the first one does. Um, if you don't like hot food, you may enjoy the steak one better because it's not as spicy. So let me try this cherry. Ooh, that was an awful noise. Getting cold. I can see that giving you brain freeze really bad if you drink it fast. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, I get mostly blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is the primary flavor. And then you get a little hint of cherry. I'm gonna move this, it's gonna squeak. Sorry. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. It's not bad. The The blue raspberry definitely comes as the strongest flavor. And the cherry adds like a tartness to it. That uh, And the blue raspberry may be tart as well. But you don't get a lot of that cherry. I mean, you get the cherry and blue. I do, I do have to agree, you do get a cherry raspberry kind of mix. It just comes across as kind of tart and very, very artificial, which it is. Um, yeah, I don't think I would get the drink again. This is not my thing. I think I would rather, the, I think the cherry is almost too strong um, as far as the tartness goes. So I'm gonna give the drink a three out of five. I'm gonna give the double steak a four out of five. And I'm gonna give the regular toasted uh, grilled cheese burrito, not toasted, grilled cheese burrito. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I would get two of the grilled cheese burritos instead of the steak burrito. That's just me. And I would just get a Coke instead of the freeze. Although I like the freeze, and now that I've had it and it's kind of settled in, it's like, eh, I want another drink of it. So maybe I'll bump it up to maybe a four. It just depends on what your personal preference is, but I'm gonna give the drink a four out of five. It does have tons of flavor. I mean, you can't go wrong. The flavor is definitely there. It's cold, it's got a good texture to it. Um, it's good and icy, it's got those little ice crystals in it. I like everything about it. It's just sometimes that cherry and raspberry flavor just kind of, it really hits you in the face. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, overall, pretty decent meals. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.